Hello and welcome back to Eva's House of Spirit. I'm Eva, for those of you who are newer to this channel, and today I wanted to talk about, I guess, good days and bad days. We all have times where things are going okay, things are going pretty positive, positively, I should say, and then we all have days where things don't go so well, where we get angry or upset or really sad. You know, there are times where things are really difficult and we feel like, I guess, we have um, very little strength or, or very little to draw on to kind of get us by. Of course, like everyone else, I have my positive times and I have my negative times. But it seems like, no matter what happens, I always have to kind of pull myself up by my own bootstraps and just keep going, because what else is one to do, you know? Um, I've learned over the course of my life that if we don't deal or try to deal, try to face things and, and do what we can to get by, what we neglect to address just gets worse and then we find ourselves in even more difficult situations, you know. It doesn't get better by kind of letting it be. So yesterday was kind of one of those um, down days for me. It was not a great day. But today, you know, I just woke up a little bit ago and I think I want to start my day with a bath to kind of um, help me along, you know, to help me to try to have a better day today than yesterday was. Because I've been dealing with a lot of difficult things that collectively, um, together, they, they become this really heavy burden, you know, sometimes. So I wanted to take a bath that would help me to, I guess, um, take things a little better in stride and, you know, keep going. So, I'm not going to brew the bath in this video because I just think it's simple enough that I could just tell you what I, I've decided should go into it. I'm going to use four ingredients for this bath, and there's a reason why, rather than using odd numbers of ingredients like I usually prefer to do, why I've chosen the number four. I've expressed in videos in the past that for me the number four, it symbolizes stability, like the four sturdy legs that hold up a table. So the herbs that I've decided should go into this bath are as follows. The first herb I'm going to use is chamomile. I don't know if you can see that too well because of the, the lamp. Chamomile. And the reason why I'm going to use chamomile is because chamomile is soothing, it's comforting, it would be good to calm um, stress and upset, you know, to calm emotions, tensions, you know, to kind of bring all that frazzled energy to a uh, more even keel. And then the next herb that I'd like to use in this bath is mint. Mint leaves. I don't think it matters so much if it's um, you know, peppermint or spearmint. It could be any of the, the mints in the mint family, I suppose. Mint is uplifting and mint is conducive to positivity. So that's why I chose mint to go into this bath. <clears throat> I've also chosen some bay, some bay leaves. And the reason why I've chosen to add bay to this bath is that bay keeps negativity away. 
you know, when you're going through a difficult time, when you're having a really crappy day, or, or when you're in general just dealing with something, whether it's long-term or short-term, that's really crappy, obviously you don't need more crappy things piling up on your plate. So that's why I thought Bay makes sense. And then the final thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, take this lemon and I'm going to slice it up and I'm going to put the slices into my bath. What I'm going to do with the three other herbs is I don't think how much goes into the bath matters as much as that they're there, so I don't really have measurements for you, but I guess, um, you know, at least a teaspoon of each, you know, in a good amount of water. You could use a little more, a little less. It's not, uh, it's not an exact science. Again, it's, it's that it's there, that, it, that they're there in the bath. I'm going to infuse them into hot water. Um, and then I'm going to strain them out and then I'm going to pour them into the bath and then I'm going to slice up this lemon and put that into the water as well and I'm going to soak in the bath but um, I also I plan to burn dragon's blood incense as I'm bathing in the bath and the reason why I thought burning dragon's blood makes sense is that <clears throat> dragon's blood has a very strong energy and in facing difficult times, in facing, you know, um, stresses or sorrows or, you know, things that are just really hard to deal with, dragon's blood, that energy of strength, it can help to lend strength to ourselves as we are trying to be strong, as we are trying to deal with. So I do plan to burn dragon's blood as well. And that's basically, um, I guess, the extent of what I plan to do for this bath. The reason I'm making this video to share this idea with you is that I'm sure there are some of you out there who are also having, you know, some difficult times. And... It's hard when you know that you have to deal, you have to get by, you know, you have to pull yourself together because if you don't, things are just going to get worse. So I suggest that if you're, you know, trying to kind of get along, get by, that you try this bath. I'm not going to say that taking this bath once is going to do it, you know, that where everything is going to turn around for you. This bath is, is supportive in nature. It's uplifting. It, it helps, I think, to focus the self, to give the self some motivation and, and a little bit of... um. I guess you could say fortitude to carry forward. So maybe the next time that you find yourself um, having a bad day or dealing with just a generally difficult time, maybe give this bath a try. Again, it has in it chamomile, mint, bay. And by the way, um, whether you choose to use one bay leaf or three or however many you choose, that's up to you. I'm not sure yet. Um, I may use three, I think, and um, a sliced up lemon. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have for you in this video. So with that, I'm going to wish you all blessed be and ashe. You have a great day. I'm going to try to have a better day than I had yesterday. And um, until next time, until our next exchange, you all stay awesome, and bye-bye for now.